wage hikes just for the sake of wage hikes can often backfire as well, can't it, Nobuko? You know, it might mean if a company's not strong enough, they might then have to, uh, you know, slow the pace of hiring or in the worst case scenario, even lay off workers. Uh, what is your outlook for, uh, for the jobs market in Japan and what are you advising clients? Well, Japan has a, a very rigid uh, labor market. That is, that the labor market is not fluid as uh, as U.S. is, for instance. So there is a high hurdle for laying off people, and the people usually stick longer to a, an employer. So that would protect Japan somehow from having a large spike in unemployment rate as a result of uh, economic downturn. So that's one resilience that Japan Japan has. And even though the hiring may slow down, that doesn't mean that there's an immediate layoff, uh, waves of layoff in Japan. There's another not particularly popular plan in the works from the Japanese government alongside the wage hikes uh, push, and that is a, a possible corporate surcharge or a corporate levy to help pay for the additional military spending uh, that, you know, is all part of uh, the government's plan to, um, you know, be more assertive, I guess, in the region. Um, do you see is this, uh, this, this corporate levy as actually getting through? And what would be the collateral damage in corporate Japan? For example, you know, would, they, uh, would there be a dent in capital spending plans, etc.? Yes, where we fund this additional defense spending has not yet, uh, yet landed quite. But uh, at the same time, I think there is an increasing acceptance overall from the business community as well as from the Japanese citizens that we need to up the spending to be able to protect the, com uh, the country against the very troublesome uh, geopolitical situation that we see in the area. So it'll be definitely a headwind to the corporate performance or our, our own taxes as well, but also people take it as uh, something that's necessary.